Hey, you guys, it's Anne Marie in the sun. Ah, in the wind. Ah, I almost feel like I'm on the ocean, but not the same. <laughs> It's the feeling from what I remember being on the beach and just feeling the breeze and just the serenity and the beautiful, beautifulness. <laughs> it just, ah. And I've been looking at this tree with these, all these dragonflies are flying around that tree. And I'm like, should I go over to that tree? Because I've been having a lot of things with dragonflies recently. And someone on my uh, subscriber on my YouTube channel asked if I had a connection with fairies. I'm going to start doing more research. I mean, I've, came, I've come across, I've, first of all, I've seen a real fairy. I mean, like in real life. Did I shit my pants? If not, I'm sure I was close to. <laughs> um, because I still can't even talk about it because I'm still like, I mean, there's no question what it was. But anyway, um, yesterday there was this dragonfly that was um, going counter counterclockwise around me before I did my messages. And when I looked at my messages, or my, my readings, when I looked at these uh, posted videos I did last night or yesterday, you can see the dragonfly in the background. And so, and, and, and I'm looking at other trees, another thing in the distance, I don't see dragonflies anywhere else. I know we're in a park, I know that's where they are at, but this one tree, they're just kicking it over there. And it's been like that for over an hour. So I'm thinking maybe I need to go over there. Anyway. Why don't we pull some cards, get some message of clarity for those of you who would like it. Thank you, divine infant beings and sources of light. Thank you, nature spirits. Thank you, divine light, all my high vibrating ancestors. Spirit guides, divine beings and sources of light that are from my highest and greatest good. Number 36. Shut up. Here's another confirmation. Watch any of my videos. I even commented on someone's video, too. Um, I think it's, oh, trans spiriting. Anyway, I've been seeing the repeated numbers 369. Not always in order. It could be 36 or 96 or 39. But it's always been 369. And here we go. Number 36. Look at that. I don't see it. I ain't got the light, Craig. Darkening of the light. Oh, well. Maintain a low profile. Look inward first. Caution and moderation. Difficulties. Self-protection. Subdue your brilliance. Hmm. So this, what Spirit is saying is that you're going to be um, coming across, opening up, experiencing some new amazing gifts and abilities that you didn't think were possible. That you didn't even know existed. A lot of us are still unlearning these false narratives in our in our society, in our in our culture, and our family, in our community. That a majority of the stuff that we've been taught have been lies. Like fairies do exist. <laughs> and it's still, I will go, I will stand ten toes down on that after ever since I saw it. Because I honestly I probably wouldn't have believed it until I saw it. I'm not gonna lie. And that was about a year and a half ago. And Many, many more magical things have happened to me since then. Things I can't explain, things that they say aren't, don't exist, things that just movies are written about or fairy tales. Um, yeah, no, not true. So these things are going to be, there's going to be certain things. This is going to be for each individual. It's not like, oh, you're going to be psychic. This is something very detailed. I'm seeing something with the elements. You're going to be awakening something that's deep-rooted from your ancestral lineage. That you're going to be awakening the roots in the bottom of your feet is what Spirit just showed. You're going to be awakening these roots that are going to um, show you something about the elements. The different elements. Specifically water, possibly. Um, and Spirit is saying that it's not to dim yourself. It's because it's going to become with great power. There's going to be great power and strength with these gifts that are that you're going to be. I just heard Spirit say stumbling upon. How are they going to stumble upon it? I'm not nosy. Spirit says no. Spirit wants you to keep a very low profile about this until you learn more about it, until you've honed in on it more. You're going to be really shocked. Like, oh, my God, I didn't know I could do that. 
I didn't know that. That's what happened when I was able to like change the wind and stuff. I was shocked. I kept I kept fucking with the universe and spirit, like no, and trying to be funny with it. Um, and so I got a slap in the face. But anyway, um, not literally, but from the universe, um, because I wasn't subtle and quiet about it. I didn't harness it. I didn't understand it. And so spirit is wanting you to really be cautious and take an inward look about what this gift, what this newfound knowledge, this could be a newfound ancient knowledge that you're getting. Like some of us can literally put our hands on trees and get ancient knowledge that, yeah. So spirit is saying that it's important for you to be, um, for you to really look inward and to understand why this gift was bestowed upon you. Not, not in the sense of, why did I get this gift? What's so special about me? No, not from a lack of mindset. This is from an empowered mindset like, what am I supposed to do with this gift? What does this gift afford me to do? How can I benefit the greater good of others with this gift? How can I cherish this gift? How can I hone in on this gift and make it strong and make it powerful so I stand ten toes down on it when I do start to bring it to the surface, when I do start to share it with the collective? And so that you won't waver in this new gift is what spirit is saying. And spirit is also saying when you get this gift, don't overuse it or overdo it. Like you, you really want to practice it and work on it and things like that, but don't make it be your whole life. There's other things that are going on in your life that can't fall by the wayside. This is something that yes, you want to work on on a daily basis. After you do a meditation, spirit says, make sure that um, you do a meditation before and possibly after you're done practicing this gift or working with it or whoever this element is. And, it, and like I said, even though I'm feeling water, it could be any of the elements. So take what resonates. But it's something to do with being able to harness the energy of different elements. To be very mindful. Keep it to yourself. Focus on uh, going inward and the benefits of this and how you can use this for the greatest good. What else spirit can you show me? Spirit is, I kept seeing like this, so don't, don't tell anybody about it. Don't tell anybody about it. Ancestors, I want to be known. What else can you tell us about it? Ancestors, what else can you tell us? Ancestors want to talk. Well, again, we have Mother of Water. Emotional self-care, number 30. There's that three again. And then we have 41, which would be five, uh, Father of Earth, generosity. So this gift is going um, to be very profitable, profitable for you. Not in a sense of like, yes, you're going to make money off of it. That's, that's not the goal. If your intentions are to make money off your gifts, if that's your first intention, is profits, you may be sadly disappointed in the long term. Does that mean we don't make money off our gifts? No, I'm, there's all these debates about it. There always has to be an energy exchange for that. But this is this is pr profitable in different ways. Like you're going to be teaching people how to tap in. Others who end up having this gift or these abilities or whatever it is, you're going to be the one to be able to kind of pave the way and show people. That's why Spirit kind of wants you to keep it under wrap. Did I show you both these cards? Uh, Mother of Water... Um, Look at her. She's she's to herself. She has all all the energies and from the universe, from their spirit guides. And this is spirit is saying that don't get carried away with this gift in the sense of this is all you do and focus on because some people they've also been I'm around a time of course. Other people have been bestowed this gift, but they were obsessed with it so much that it made them sick. So not to become obsessed with that's why the self-care is important for you to meditate before and make sure that the energy that you're pulling in with this gift or whatever it is, is from a good place. Not all the guidance that you get are from the highest to high and uh, for your highest and greatest good. There's all kinds of energies that try to infiltrate and get us off track and distract us, right? So Spirit is saying that it's really important for you to do self-care. Don't get obsessed with this. Harness it on it. Don't tell anybody about it. We're running out of time. And you will get gifts from the universe. The universe will be very generous 
if you manage this gift well and do right by it. I hope you're healthy and happy, full of joy, you guys. May you love.